I think the viewers must watch the Talking It Out Festival in March because it's dealing with mental health issues in a format that's really widely accessible to audiences, that is accessible to anyone who has a computer, um, and is supporting a good cause as well, that the donations are going to support um, a mental health charity. Um, and so that is why you should come see it. Um, and also to learn about mental health, um, to learn about um, depression, to learn about these things in a format that's um, more theatrical, more enjoyable, more fun um, than other formats. My name is Lauren Silverstein. I'm a playwright of Confessions of a College Student um, that is being performed at the Talking It Out Virtual Arts Festival. If you want to learn more about my play, please come listen to this conversation. So I first found out about it um, on the website New York City Playwrights, um, which I really like looking at for things to apply to for playwrights. And I found the way it was talked about there, about um, a virtual theater arts festival about mental health. Um, I thought that I really connected to that and that it felt like something that was important. Um, it felt like, yeah, it, it, it felt like a, a, a worthy like cause to actually support um, and to put my play towards. And um, it also connected to things that I, I already knew were in the play that I picked, which um, is Confessions of a College Student. I knew that it could speak to the theme of the festival, and I also felt like the theme of the festival could speak to the play. The idea for this play um, was largely autobiographical. Um, it's taken from my own memories and experience um, uh, in my life, my relationship with my parents, and my experience in high school and college. Um, and it was also developed as like a way to deal with and cope with like experiences that happened in my life. Um, so I, I had to write it because I wasn't dealing with it any other way. And writing was a form of, of closure for myself. Um, and then once I wrote it, I realized, once I tried to write it anyway, I realized that it was, I think it would help someone else. Um, and I think it would help an audience that needs to see a play about someone who can live through something terrible and come out the other side and who can grow and develop from something that happened in their life. Um, and I think it also speaks to um, how we talk about mental health, um, which is why I love this festival because it's talking it out. It's in the name about how we talk about mental health, how, how can we deal with it which I think is is what I really admire about, about my play. The story is called Confessions of a College Student, and it's about a character named Dolly and also another character named Lauren, who are the same person, um, and how they're trying to deal with um, this, this trauma that happened in their life um, that, that they didn't, that they were very depressed for a long time and that they didn't have help. Um, and Dolly is still stuck in that, um, while Lauren, a little older, is able to reflect on her, her story a bit more. Um, and so it, they tell, Lauren's telling this story um, as Dolly is experiencing it. I want the audience to get an understanding of what it feels like to have depression, as well as an understanding of how hard it is to talk about mental health issues in general, um, and how, but yet how important it is to talk about them, um, how we can't really have closure, have um, any sort of healing without dealing with it or talking about it, um, but that each person who's encountering mental health issues in someone else does not need to be involved in the recovery process. Um, and that like, it can be difficult to deal with um, mental health issues, even, um, even if it's some, especially if it's someone close to you. 
I think I'm looking forward to see um, how people react to to a virtual uh, play, virtual plays a, around mental health and about um, really about like mothers and, and daughter relationships in some ways. Um, and I think also I'm I'm interested to see how we can connect in a virtual format, despite it being after COVID, um, having theater in that format. I'm also excited to see the the ways in which um, like each play can talk to each other. Um, that despite being different, we there's like ways that these plays can be in conversation with each other and um, in conversation with the audience that's coming to see it. I think it's important for community members to support local theaters and especially festival because it shows that um, you're receptive to the messages that um, you're hearing in these theater productions um, and that you care about continuing to spread these these messages to other people. Um, like these donations are helping um, talking it out continue. They're helping um, this charity um, continue doing work for um, other people. And it's also important to show that you you support the the messages that are are being spread. I think I just want to mention that um, I think this festival is is supported by a ton of creative people, a ton of um, really amazing people who are dedicating their time and and their assistance to putting on a really great show. Um, so I'm really happy that it's happening. My name is Lauren Silverstein. I'm um, a playwright and I'm playwright of a play called Confessions of a College Student, which is being put on by the Talking It Out Play Festival. Um, I hope that you'll all come see it and that you come talk about uh, mental health issues um, with other people. Please support this festival and support um, all these artists who are putting it on.